Technology is the bridge between not being able to do something and doing a task that's necessary for school, work, or leisure activities. It's all about independence in the end. The I Can Connect program uh, will purchase equipment for people who have dual sensory limitations, difficulties with both hearing and vision, um, technology that helps them connect with the world either through telephone means or through the internet. The Ward Brothers, they're extremely tech savvy. So I just supplied some supplemental items for them to be able to do more uh, larger screens, maybe some contrast, but they had all the tools necessary within them because they knew a lot more about technology than I did, quite frankly. I rely uh, generally on four things, my iPhone, my iPad, a laptop, and a PC. I use an iPad, uh, the iPhone, an iMac, and those three I tend to use most, uh, mostly. The technology has made it so much easier. Um, I get to hear stories from them when I talk to them, uh, or they text me, you know, and, and they'll say, Mom, you know, I, can't, I couldn't have done it without the technology. So it really is, um, has helped, helped them become successful. For job searches, I can use the iPad. I can use it to make changes to my resume. I could use my iPad, iMac for various applications and I think it would be very helpful to me to be successful in the future as well. And the technology itself uh, helps us to become more independent. We don't have to rely on someone else uh, for communication, uh, whether it's the iPhone or iPad. It makes us more comfortable and more confident um, in our identities. There are um, eligibility requirements, some tied to income, but people would be very surprised at how much their family income can be and still qualify for the program. The National Deafblind Equipment Distribution Program um, is one that's designed and funded by the FCC to help people communicate with, uh, if, if in the case that they are in fact visually impaired and hearing impaired. It really opens up a whole lot um, of opportunities for people to reconnect with people, whether it's via email, via texting, via some sort of phone call. Um, and there's all kinds of equipment that's available to help people do that. If you are a braille reader, you can connect things like this refreshable braille keyboard to any sort of eye device, whether it's an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPad mini, to be able to use the refreshable braille in order to be able to read what somebody is being sent to you. If you can't see it and you can't hear it, uh, makes a huge difference if you can have some other way to actually interact with whatever it is you're trying to do, whether that's texting or email or the phone for that matter. Well, I initially became um, blind and um, my hearing loss, it kind of isolated me from just everything and everyone. And this basically, uh, this gives me the freedom. I mean, it just gives me such, um, it just gives me just a, a freedom to just contact people and just really feel like I'm still involved in life more or less, I'm just, I'm really involved in life. When you have access to the internet, you can do your banking independently. You can order groceries from the grocery store and have them delivered. It's a virtual link to the entire world that for someone who, by virtue of their disabilities, is limited to the home a good deal of time, it certainly means that they're not limited from connecting with their community. I don't have to just wait around for someone to, to do things for me. I can read my own mail. I can check my son's grades at school. You know, I can um, contact my friends about a lunch, going to lunch and things like that and not having someone else to do that for me. I like my independence. And this is basically giving me that, 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 that freedom to do those things.